Hello once again, it's Ingrid. Uh, so today I thought I'll show you guys how I made my wig. Uh, it's actually a normal wig uh, that I bought on eBay. It's just a uh, small or uh, really cheap anime looking wig which I just curled a bit. I did uh, remove a lot of hair because it was like this much hair at the front just laying like this so I removed that in two pieces and then I styled it on a styling head or a small uh, head uh, what I'm going to do now is going to show you how I I made it quite long because uh, well the wig is quite long but I just kept it that long because I'm not sure how long the wig or the 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 new Loki hair is going to be so is this long let's see and also what I'm going to do today uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make an easy pattern and what I used for material for this shirt here you see it's like a prison shirt open like this Whoa. Oh. like this quite nice uh, on the wig what I did I, I this is not uh, I'm just going to show you how I made the curls because the curls, uh, this wig is not heat resistant so you should not actually use warm things on it I did uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work on everyone oh, I just did it, I went like curls, I'll do it what I did was take this one now it's quite warm and then what I did, I took I, I parted it in three layers, first this is the first layer, second layer, third layer and I just took it out and then I curled different layers I'm going to show you pictures as well Yeah, here's the picture of the wig I bought and then I just cut off the fringe on the wig and it ended up looking like this take the hair back and then curl it! Uh, what is it? Uh, here's a bit of hair and I could like this and now it's all warm so what I do then so I hold it like this so it's in a curl and then I just blow on it till it cools down because the wig is plastic and it will stay in that shape I actually use this wig for the whole day so it stays in this shape for the whole day and for like throughout eternity so there you have it a lock nice looking lock um, I'm not sure how warm my thing was my curling iron because uh, uh, I just have a sheep one it's like on and off so uh, I think it's like cold and then it's warm as hell so yeah uh, what I did next with this one with the curl was I took uh, this is gel wax as a lot of people say uh, the fibers is not hair so the fibers in this doesn't react like the hair but I just used uh, this um, gel wax because just to make it a bit greasier then I just grease up the curl curl it a bit Part it like this, like this, so, so it's like hair, curl, and spray. Quite nice, you know, quite good looking lock. Or oh, when you have a lot of them, uh, it looks better. What I'm also going to show you guys is how to put the wig on because it's not. Uh, if you see your hair, this is my hair. This is not my hair. This is the wig. This is the hair. This is the hair. This is the wig. So it's like just laying like on top. I would uh, for the con. I'm gonna flatten it a bit more. Uh, but so it's like this, not like popping up. But 
Yeah, it's quite good looking. I'm not really sure what these are called, but uh, call the motherfuckers. Kiss are everywhere and nowhere when I need them. There's the wig, and it's my hair now. It's my oh, hair net. Can also put it on. Uh, what I'm going to do next? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how I put the wig on. Well, here's me without a wig. It's my beautiful long hair. It looks like I've been in prison for too long. And now I'm going to fix my hair. Tony will be so glad when I fix it. I'm not sure what that But anyways, what I'm going to do next is show you guys how I put on the wig. And it's going to take some time. Take the wig up. Put it on. Also, what is nice, uh, uh, what I found out, it's, it is not, it is a lot easier to shape your fringe when you grease it first, because then afterwards you can just take this the brush and then just like pull it back over the wig afterwards. So first grease the the fringe, oh, fringe, and then afterwards you take the wig on. Dang it! I suck at this. There. You have the cap on, but you have to have the hair out. This hair is going outside the cap. And then uh, the cap tend to like slide back, so I'm just gonna hook it to my head. Check the comb. My fringe like sticks up like this. Looks so beautiful. Then take the wig. Now I have hair like this. Take the wig. Oh. Pin it there and here. So it stays there. Spray. And there you have it. Uh, it's the Loki wig. Cost me about 12, I think it's 12 dollars on eBay. It's actually next to nothing, I think, for a wig. Uh, it's not heat resistant, as I said. And therefore, you can also curl it like this. Uncurled, and hair is curled. Easy to curl. And you don't have to like re curl it for every time you wear it. So it's easy. Um, because I also had difficulties with, uh, with uh, styling my hair as Loki. Uh, because I had to do it in the morning before the con, before anyone in the house was awake. And quite frankly, uh, I didn't uh, do a really good job because me with the eye ring, the curling eye ring, and then trying to curl back hair and hair and hair in layers, it didn't work. Uh, so I gave up. Uh, and so I just bought a wig. Uh, and I think it. It's not that bad. It goes a bit out. I will probably try to flatten it. Like, here, there. So it goes more. And it's longer than uh, than uh, the wig Tom Hinton are in Avengers. But I think uh, I, I want to have that because I think it's quite long hair in the new movie as well. So. Not that bad. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what I'm going to show you guys now is 
how to make an easy pattern for this. Yeah, and here you see the shirt I have made. It's, it's like this. It's green. It's uh, thick lean. Or, oh, no, yeah, something. Uh, and I'm just gonna take it inside out and show you guys the sewing work. Uh, here's, uh, I see the arms. And here's also the side of the shirt and the other side of the arms and hair, shoulders and yeah, all the and hair's also at the back. Uh, it's uh, two pieces here at the back. It's this lower piece here and it's an upper piece here. I should like here. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it's there, but uh, it's on. I used a shirt. Uh, I used um, this shirt. It's uh, just a shirt I have at home, uh, and I used just the exactly the same pattern uh, for this. Um, just like in front here, you see the sewing work. I turned this inside out as well, and then I just used the exactly exact pattern. Uh, because I didn't get the exact size. Uh, yeah, here's also on the back side, and here you see the two upper parts and lower parts, and why and where it sewed. So, yeah. And uh, you see the sewing work. It's not that bad, actually. <laughs> I'm not a sewer, so. Uh, what you also can do, because I made a mellow, mellow um, vest, uh, I just made it smaller. Uh, so, uh, like this, here's the mellow breast, and you see it's like, so it's more like a slim fit. And I just made the same front slim fit back, and then the same, like, arms, I just didn't make the arms, but, yeah. Uh, uh, and on the back I just dropped the upper part, because it was uh, difficult with all these squares. And here you also see um, the neck, the neck work. Uh, it's the same neck work here at Mellow Costume and at this, this shirt, and on the Loki costume. I'll show you in a minute. See, uh, here you see the front, and here you see the the, um, the neck at uh, the Loki costume. Uh, I also used a zipper uh, to see it a bit better in the back there. Uh, but uh, you see the zipper and everything, and it's like two layers of fabric. Uh, and uh, yeah, and I just sewed it on. I think you have a quite nice looking... <coughs> oh god, you can taste it! Uh, it's quite 